run, eh? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Try to be calm. Okay. Yes, man. Like we are rubbish. You know? Everybody likes it. I'm competitive. Oh, lovely sunny day in Dublin. What a day to kick a ball about, eh? What a day to kick a bag of air about. Final day. <clears throat> it's nearly 8am. We're getting picked up at 20 past 8 to play the big game. Forlan versus Perez. We are team Forlan, of course. Stu, how are you feeling? Feeling good. I feel like I need to eat some because um, we're getting picked in about 10 minutes. Maybe. Yeah, I feel the exact opposite actually. I feel physically sick and I can't eat. We did a lot of walking yesterday, didn't we? A lot of walking. My legs are so tight, it's ridiculous. Um, my ass cheeks are loose. Yeah, I feel nervous. The, the anxiety is getting to me a bit. Um, he's a natural born baller, you know. Me on the other hand, that's... Uh, it's all heart, really. No strips didn't work. No strips, oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> He's knackered. Whoever's, you know, been promoting them, what a load of shit. Yeah, okay, well, rude. Trying to, get, try, trying to get, trying to get sponsored from <laughs> there. Um, others on the market may be better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been an unbelievable experience, on not Oh, yeah. It's been That's ridiculous. Oh, oh, I mean, the whole thing. The game was unbelievable. Luckman put on an absolute yeah. show for the boys, didn't he? Yeah. Unreal. Um, probably going to do the same today, score a hat trick, win 3 0. I don't know, might do. Depends if I fancy it. We don't know who's playing where. Yeah, here's, here's the thing, right? If we're, if we're going to be truthful, Diego won't say this. He doesn't have a clue. He doesn't have a clue. <laughs> he doesn't know where we play. We've done no tactics. We just did shooting. Looked across at Perez. They're all in positions, doing possession and stuff, conditioning. I spoke to one of their lads last night and he said, Yeah, I'm starting up top. We don't even know our positions. This is insane. It'll be a Sunday league job in the changing room, yeah. won't it? Who wants to play where? Who wants to play where? Um, so, so, we have been debating changing position. Yeah. Right? Well, you have. Because yeah. we've got about 15 midfielders. 15 midfielders, yeah. Um, I, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to play. Probably on the bench, to Go be honest. Up front. Up front, yeah. Me and Diego. <laughs> that. Are you playing Diego? Or shall I? Do you want. I I'll know. lead him out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, right. We are going to head down to the team bus. And one last time. See you later, the Maldoron. Is that what it's called? Maldron. Maldron. <laughs> the Mold. The Maldron. What a little gaff that was for the week. Thank you very much. See you later. The I final mean, walk. I haven't done any band exercises yet. No. Are you going to do them in change room? Uh, Depends how serious it is. Yeah, no. Well, kind of because I've always done my drawing. What I tend to do is go hide in the shower. <laughs> in the shower. But mad him, he's just getting in the shower. <laughs> he has a pretty match one. It is hot and I'm extremely tight. The boys are there early. Just quickly talk us through what you got for your pre match. Well, I can't really eat four games, so I'm just trying to eat what you can. Yeah, eat what you can. Cornflakes. Cornflakes, that looks healthy, to be honest. It looks healthy, I think um, yesterday. Yeah, well, it is a sausage and thing. Camera goes away, moves it away. Yeah. <laughs> Diego, go to you. Morning, Diego, you alright? The main man himself, Diego Forlan. He actually speaks to me and Stu for about 30 minutes all about football, to the point where we're needing to leave and he's still gabbing on. Diego, we've got a bus to catch, so we've got a game to win. Robert Perez, the opposition gaffer. I usually wouldn't shake hands before a match, but he is a legend of the sport. This man lives his life on his own timescale. Yeah. Cheers, Robert. See you later. Still can't get my head around that. Same bye to Robert Perez as if we're best mates. See you later, Bobby boy. Look at this, just walking past Forlan. It's like the Nike advert back in the day. You know, the one where it's like your point of view. Now, those of you who know me at all know that I cannot deal with pressure. I get anxious, I get stressed, I get unbelievably nervous. So best believe when I'm jumping on this bus to go and play the biggest game of my life, I feel physically sick and I need a poo. I do need, I need a nervous poo at this point. Tactics. This is a sigh of a man who knows he's doing my running for 90 minutes. Oh. Gaffer, I'm actually injured. I was chafing quite badly. I've been ruled out on medical grounds. I dread to think what Fallen and Perez are talking about here. Hey Robert, get a load of this. There's this big fat bastard on my team. He can't run, he can't pass, he can't shoot. He's asthmatic and he thinks he's starting up top. I'm very nervous. Looking forward to it though. 
Jesus, I tell you what, the nerves are ridiculous right now. They are through the roof, pulling into the players' entrance in the coach. I'm used to turning up to a side of a Sunday league field and getting changed on the side of the pitch before a game. None of this chauffeur-driven box. Let me out now and I'll walk the rest of it. In fact, I needed to. I was so anxious, so nervous. I was at fever pitch. I was feeling claustrophobic. My legs were shaking. My knees were weak. Is that an Eminem song? Oh. This is us just going into the pre-match press conference ahead of our big game. And right here is the moment I realised that Chris Hughes from Love Island was actually hosting the press conference. There he is there, look at him. Gets everywhere that fella, doesn't he? He gets where water doesn't. Just one quick question, am I starting gaffer? <laughs> there he is, the gaffer's here. <laughs> <laughs> Right everybody, welcome to the 2024 B-Win Fans Final. Good to have you all here. We've got the two legends beside me as well. It's going to be an exciting day, exciting morning. Diego Fallon here giving a bit of tactical analysis from the Europa League game the previous night. I'm laughing at Don Carlo's jokes but deep down I'm nervous as fuck. And this is it. This is the moment I'm walking out the tunnel for the very first wow. time. Yeah, good show. Yeah, I know, it's tiny, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't think that would have been fun. They were probably yeah. thinking like... <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, I'm pretty glad it was. Two people have made their way to the local rooms, and uh, let's get the kit on, and get your boots on. Yeah, let's get the kit on. And here we go, the moment I dreamt of as a kid is about to come true, all because of you guys out there. I've dreamt of seeing my name on a shirt, in a stadium, on a peg, ahead of a huge game. And it's Whoa. just about to become reality. I can't thank you all enough. Here we go. Oliver. Where's Caleb? Yeah, he's down here, mate. Next to the boy. How you doing? Great. Well, next to the boy who's considered three last night, so <laughs> yeah. I don't have the same note. Oh, I'm in Patrick Schicks. That's cool, isn't it? It's not too bad. <laughs> this is mad, isn't it, mate? That's class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The moment we've all waited for anxiously. Fallan setting up the team. The question on everyone's lips is, am I starting, Gaffer? Am I starting? He's setting up in a what looks like a 4-4-2. Oh, it is a 4-4-2. Back to basics. And, of course, we was bang on the money. Fallan didn't have a clue where we played, how we played, if we even wanted to play. So it was a Sunday league job. He's put himself in centre midfield, which is quite arrogant, if you ask me. I was hoping to play there. Now it's a case of who wants it more, who's going to shout, who's going to be brave, who's going to put themselves on the team sheet. Stu lost his head, he went right back. I don't know where, he was first name on team sheet and he went right back. Everybody wants a piece of the pie now, positions are getting taken up left, right and Trafford centre. Now old Joe would have sunk under this pressure, he would have kept quiet. But what does he do? He wants in the game, he wants some skin in the game. I'll go right mid Diego if you need a right mid. Look at his face. That is the face of a man who's realised his right winger is touching 17 stone. Right mid? Right mid, yeah. yeah. You have to run, eh? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> eh, Finn as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Joey. Joey. Joey, the one from France? England. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dijon. Come on, Dijon. Come on, Dijon. Come on, Dijon. I know, but we can cover it with an old slip gap. Let's go. 
Look at this, up close and personal with Diego Forlan, me and him walking out the tunnel, side by side, I can almost smell the head and shoulders. He's stripped and he is ready, watch this for a first pass of the day, it's accurate alright. And here we go, just a couple of stretches, we do not want to pull anything. The Aviva, he's made it on the pitch, baby. He's playing right wing, he's probably going to pull hamstring. He's either going to pull an hamstring or score a well, if that's what's happening. Oh, what a finish! Unbelievable! I've just got a free kick at the Aviva. I don't give a bollocks if it was in training. Me and you, we've gone from. Joey's going around to a world in there. Oh, it's too kind. I mean, the camera picked it up unless you didn't. If you didn't press the card then. You're dead to me. Oh, I didn't realise you were up league matches. Joey has gone right mid. Yeah, right mid. I've gone right back. So we're looking at Neville Beckham. The Neville boys. The Neville brothers. Um, yeah, I'm really nervous actually, but I'm just here to enjoy it now. Trophy's been changed now. Trophy's changed out. We've gone from Leckenfield Swinemore playing up at Leckenfield Recreation to the Aviva. It is an absolute carpet. Might take some bit up from my house actually. No, what time minutes. Four minutes till kickoff. Nothing to see here, just two best mates walking off the pitch together having a right laugh. There he is, my man. So, uh, fellas, enjoy. Hey, breathe it in. <laughs> Why does he look nervous? That's worrying. An advice for everybody, you know, is we're going to start the game on the pitch where they play the final. Try to be calm, try not to do too many things, you know. Try to play simple. It's an advice, you know. Every time I have the opportunity to play in a final or play different good tournaments, Copa America, World Cups, the adrenaline, the excitement for us players that we are used to playing these kind of situations is too much, too high. So sometimes if you are over, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad, you're going to be tired, exhausted in the two, three minutes, you're going to miss too many balls. So every time an advice that I used for myself was get the ball, good control, keep the ball if there's someone behind and try to pass to our teammates. Easy. And then start running, you know. While you run more, you are, you are going to take everything away. Then, within five, four, ten minutes, you know, the game is going to be more normal. You know, more. I know the environment and everything is different, but just an advice to everybody. And then we have to enjoy. We have to enjoy, try to be all helpful together. You know, if someone is tired, try to tell them, okay, we can change, come, we go, we roll, we switch, everybody. I know the positions of everybody, they are not their positions, but the strikers now, they are going to play as a striker, but if we need people on the back because someone gets injured or someone gets really tired and he cannot come back to the game, okay, we have to sacrifice everybody, myself, go back or in the uh, goalkeeper, whatever we have to do, okay? So, best of luck, you know, enjoy. And Let's go and try to win, okay? Let's go! Oh, come on, man! They've got liners, I'm going to do about four miles offside here. Yeah. <laughs> right wing, here he is, GK. Clean sheets, clean sheets. Kenny, are you ready? Let's go! Kenny, ready? Ready? Let's go! Yep. Here we go! Are they ready? They're keen. 
Alright guys, alright. Shake hands after the game, that's what we're And here we go, a matter of moments before the biggest game of my life. I go over to see my mate Stu and the centre half. And if you look at this, look closer. He's just telling me to get in behind defenders. <laughs> That's not my game, son. That is not my game. Good luck. This is me telling Stu how the game's actually going to unfold with me bombing on and him having to cover both our defenders. He seemed all right with it. A couple of last minute stretches. The last thing I want is to go off with a pulled hamstring or tight calf or something like that. People ask, are you and Stu in sync? I don't know. Have a look at this, my friend. Three, two, one, wallop. They don't call us the Neville brothers for nothing. So here we have it, folks. The biggest game of my life. Seconds away. All made possible thanks to you lot. Again, I cannot thank you enough. Here we go. All you want to do is get off to a good start in games like these. Diego Forlan said, keep it simple, keep it nice and easy. And Diego Forlan's played me the ball early. What do I do? I keep it simple. Stu's made a good run, but unfortunately the German freestyler's ball just doesn't quite cut the mustard. Since the game, Stu has actually slated me for not tracking back enough. But where am I here? That's what I say. Look at that, I closed the ball down to make it harder for him to pass that ball. That's why it goes out of play, if you ask me. Again, this is a nice little move. The centre half here plays it out to Stu who then goes inside to the centre mid. What's the centre mid going to do? Does he find it? Look, I've just crept inside there. And again, just keep the ball. I'll pass it to my mate Diego all day long. Don't worry about that. What a pass. I mean, that's so simple, but it looks unreal, doesn't it? You can look at this one in two ways. You can say, is it a bad pass from Joey, or does he keep 100% passing accuracy? Just about, yeah, just about. I, I only want to play to Diego. I only want to pass it to Diego. And Diego, look at that. He's gone out wide to Stu. This might be a quite nice move, actually. Gets it back. What's Diego? Diego, play it easy, he was saying before the game. Play it easy. He just whipped one in. Stoke City 2008. Look at this. Great inception by Diego Fawn. He's read the game well there. And he's come out wide to Joey. He trusts Joey on the ball. Who goes inside to Stu Oliver. Stu trying to do a little dancing run for it. We've had a lot of the ball, actually. Me and Stu. Here we go. Open your body up, Joey. What you got? Not a lot. Keeper's made the save. Didn't really need to. It was going wide. Team Perez on the ball. Looking dangerous. Played inside to Dominic. Now this fella is a player. Used to be pro in Portugal. And you see with the ball like that. Why? And it's a good finish. Now Stu has argued that that's not his man. He's argued blue in the face. He said it's the centre-half's man. I'll let you be the judge. 1-0 Team Perez. And we have got a lot of work to do. We've not let it stop us though, we've not let it get us down. Minutes later we're up the other end of the pitch. Great little slide ball by Joey and it's gone out for a corner. What happens next I hear you say? 
Now I started playing football at the age of five, ladies and gentlemen, and I fell immediately and deeply in love with the sport. I was out every single night of the week kicking the ball about, visualising scoring a great goal in a stadium just like this. I watched Diego Fawn in the 2010 World Cup win the golden boot. He absolutely ripped it up and he's just about to take a corner. Now watch what happens next. Diego Fawn with those luscious locks and that delicious right foot of his whips it in a pace. Who's there? The smallest man on the pitch, it's Joey! Oh my word, it's a screamer! Balak! Let's just analyse this quickly. I know the ball's coming in at pace. I need to create a bit of space. So a couple of side steps away from the defender and all it needs is a little flick home. Get on that for a celebration. The fella's gone wild. But that joy was short-lived as Robert Perez rolls back the years here. Playing a lovely little side through ball there to the homegrown Irishman who makes it 2-1 to Team Perez. If you haven't guessed it, there's a lot of goals. There's a lot of goals. Composure's what's needed and composure is what Stu Oliver's got. Plays a little one-two with Diego Fawn. Who'd have thought that a few weeks ago? Stu plays it out to the right back. Can you find... Look at that. I've just tucked in space again. I'll find Stu there. It's, is it a bad ball or Stu not get his feet sorted quick enough? You tell me. Either way, it's a fantastic move and that is a superb ball by my namesake Joey to his best mate Dan. And it should be two all. Team Perez really taking the piss now, but look at that, Stu Oliver with a little bit of last ditch defending. They've gone man for man with me, they know my aerial threat. What? What's that? Sent you for an absolute hot dog, son. Thanks for coming. Let's watch that again, shall we? I've hit him with the old stanky leg. I'll have ketchup and mustard with that hot dog, please. This is the moment. Diego Forlan gives me the nod of approval. I turn around. Do you want me to take the corner, Diego? You have it, son. I trust you. Those were exact words, I think. Now, this is said corner. Look at that. Unbelievable delivery with the wand of the left foot. You've got to be asking yourself, who's attacking that? Now, I do, I do give the ball away. That is absolute bollocks. That's poor. And they are... Look at me. I'm not even tracking back here. Stu, Stu, can you track back for me? Son? Oh, I've done the old little head duck as if I've tried to run. I haven't. I haven't. Look at that. Jesus, wept. Joey, get back, son. Get back. Don't matter. Stu Oliver's there. And look at this. The boy has got my back always. So let's move right down. In the game of football, you've got to be alert always. Look at this. I'm ready. Diego's played me the ball. And in my mind, I was rapid here, but watching that back, I'm so as shit. This clip here is a little personal favourite of mine. Diego Fallon just sweeping up at the back. One touch pass to Joey. One touch from Joey into Stu. And then Stu back to Diego Fallon. Me, Stu, and Diego Fallon just playing triangles around people. I absolutely love it. Joey on the run here. Unfortunately, nothing comes of this chance. But Joey is a danger going forward, as always. Some say I'm not in the team for my defensive capabilities. I beg to differ. Look at this. Fellas about to do a Maradona turn past me. Not in my house, son. And then look at that. That is Arsenal Invincible Robert Perez I've just dispossessed. I've just dispossessed Arsenal Invincible Robert Perez. <laughs> I'm like a young Lee Catamore. Now look at this. I'm strolling back 20 minutes in. Absolutely naked. I'm done. I'm cooked. Listen to the desperation in my voice here. Brighton field. Anyone, Brighton I'm desperate field. to get off. Gaffer, you've got to get me off. I need a little stint on the bench. Yeah. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Gary Neville once said, the quicker he gets to pain and exhaustion, the better he is. Now let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I am in pain and I am bloody exhausted. I'm pleading with the bench. I'm desperate to come off. But Diego Forlan has other things in mind. He knows that even when Joey's in pain, even when he's exhausted, he's still got a little bit in the locker and he's just about to prove that. Watch this. About a hundred yard diag pass. How's Joey's touch? He might be tired, but he's still got an unbelievable first touch. Character can be defined by your actions when you're exhausted, when you're at your lowest ebb. And my character's just about to get questioned here. The German centre midfielder plays me the ball inside. But the question is, do I have anything left in the tank? Now I know what you're thinking. Surely he hasn't. He hasn't done a Beckham, has he? He hasn't done a Shabby Alonso. He hasn't done a Maynard Figueroa. Surely he's not shot from there, is he? Oh. 
And you'd be absolutely right. It was a combination of a terrible through ball and some awful goalkeeping. And eagle-eyed viewers might notice I'm actually embarrassed to celebrate this one and I'm still desperate to get off the pitch. I've come off, didn't even last 20 minutes, but hey, I'll tell you what, what a 20. <laughs> well, boys, ah, it's got an unbelievable header. I can't wait to watch that back. Uh, and then, yeah, it, one was a bit useless, it was a fruit, chip fruit ball, uh, bounced over the keeper, but listen, I've got two at the Aviv, what have you done, son? Yeah, it's my man, man. Your <laughs> man your <laughs> <laughs> we then concede not one goal. But shortly after that, we concede yet another goal, and this one's a sloppy one. The ball's bouncing around, eventually gets poked in. By the looks of it, I've gone off and the game's changed. Forlan must be screaming out, get Joey back on. Here's Stu trying to drag the team forward. He creates a little angle, gets his shot off, unfortunately, just wide. Team Forlan pressing for a much-needed goal. Stu works a little shooting angle. I'm just going to stop it here. Now, I'm no Harry Kane, but if we just take a look at the keeper's positioning here, we'll see that there's actually quite a lot of the goal to aim for. I'd have probably put it somewhere on the left side of the goal, literally anywhere. If it's on target, it's probably in. Oh, Stu's opted not to, he's gone high. A weird decision. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking this is an instant replay of the previous chance, but I assure you it's not. Let's stop it here. Now those of you who don't know, Stu is actually an unbelievable footballer, he played at a very high level and if we look at this chance here, his body shape is perfect, it looks like he's about to strike the back of the net with a plomb. The keeper's positioning is just as poor, all he needs to do is get on target, get us back in the game Stewie boy, get us back in the game. I can't tell you how livid he was with himself at half time about missing them chances, I had to give him a little pep talk, I said listen, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, get back on the bloody horse son. Speaking of getting back on the horse, that is exactly what Team Perez do as they make it 5-2 before the half and the whistle goes promptly afterwards. 5-2 Perez. Appreciate it. Oh, no, that one, that was a through ball. Truthfully, that was a through ball. Thanks. Honestly, though. Now, honestly, I did not expect this. We've obviously took a batter in at half time. I didn't know how serious Fallon was going to take this, but he is raging with us. Like, we are rubbish. You know, everybody likes I'm competitive. I know I didn't say, you know, that I don't want, but Robert, he wants to win. Everybody wants to win. <laughs> and I don't want to be on the beach running and everybody waiting there up, up front. I'm saying, control pass, my friend. What's your name? Where is the German guy? Sorry. Good. You did everything the opposite. You get past the ball, you try to dribble, you try to go. The one in front, my friend. I'm a nice guy, but I'm on the beach. It doesn't matter if it's my mother, my sister, I don't give a fuck. But I want to score goals. At this point, Diego Fallon asked for no more filming in the changing room because he went on to give us a tongue lashing that even Sir Alex Ferguson would have been proud of in his hairdryer treatment era. He outlined exactly what he expected from us in the second half and I tell you something right now, I would run through a brick wall for that man. Now I'm not just saying this for the vlog, but at half time, Diego Fallon looked at me dead in the eye and scouts honour he said this, with a, and if I may say so, he had a tinge of desperation in his voice. He said, you are coming back on, aren't you? Don't worry Diego, I'm back on and I won't let you down. And here I am, immediately involved in the action in the second half. There you go, positive play, breaking the lines, finding my mate Stu. Fresh from a rocket from Diego Forlan, we're on the front foot. Mateo plays it inside to Stu, Stu gets on the ball and he's driving forward with purpose now. Who's he going to find? He's found his little mate Joey. The connection between the two is like Beckham and Neville as Joey finds Stu and we win the corner. That's a good football, that's a good football. The corner amounts to nothing, it was probably me who whipped it in, that's why I've cut it out because it was bollocks. But here we go, Joe and Stu on the edge of the box. Look at those quick feet from Stu. Quick question, do you believe in manifesting? Because I do. 
Or score a hat trick and put a clinic down on Robert Perez. Probably gonna go out there, score a hat trick. Probably gonna do the same today, score a hat trick, score a hat trick, score a hat trick, score a hat trick, score a hat trick. That's right, folks, for once the thumbnail didn't lie, it wasn't clickbait. I actually scored a hat trick at the Aviva, and it is all thanks to you lot. You guys have made my dreams come true. Little seven-year-old Joey wouldn't believe me, even if I told him I've just scored a hat-trick at the Aviva. He'd be buzzing, he'd probably do one of them Triple H circuits, because I, I did used to love doing them. Time's ticked on and there's been a couple more goals. We're 7-5 down with not long to play. Can Team Forland pull it back? It's a great slide through ball there. With my little Greek mate breaking the lines, he's found Joey in acres of space. Like Iron Robin back in the day, he's going to cut back in on that left foot. He's had a shot. It's a tame shot, but it's on target. The keeper's parried out. Straight into the path of the other Joey, who's got on the score sheet and made it 7-6. 70 minutes in the clock. Absolutely knackered. Got the hat trick. I can't believe it. This is the greatest day of my life. The gaffer. I did it for the gaffer. I did it for the gaffer. I did it for the gaffer. Bambaste. I love it. There he is, my man. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Amazing, man. I am absolutely fucked. How many goals you scored too? What? So imagine it. Alright, sir. I'm off now. My game's done. 15 minutes left. It's up to the boys and girls on the pitch to do the job for us. And there's been a handball. The referee's given it. Team four and have a penalty. 5 2 down at half time. Forhand gives us the hairdryer treatment and we're on the brink of making it 8 7. I'm buzzing, you can see me at the bottom of the screen, but my job's done. I scored a hat trick and I backed myself to score the penalty, but all I can do is watch on. Now, those of you who saw episode one of the vlog know that I put a penalty right in the stanchion in front of Diego Forlan. He knows all about my penalty taking abilities, and so does Dion. Look at this. Dion's actually calling me over. He's saying, Joey. Joey, get yourself on the pen. Get yourself on... And that scouts on it. That's exactly what he was saying. But Diego Forlan's taking it, and I guess he's all right, isn't he? You talk the talk, Diego, but can you walk the walk? Let's find out, brother. Oh. Of course he can. I didn't doubt for one moment him or his was just lost. What a comeback. The greatest Never comeback the Aviva's ever seen. Oh, Diego. Oh. But hold your horses, don't speak too soon. The fat lady hasn't sung as Team Perez win a penalty. And Robert Perez himself is going to step forward and take. Can he notch? Of course he can. Calmness personified. The game's moved on. It's 10-8 forward, but it needs to be put to bed. The ball falls to Stu and he sets up to strike. A penny for the boys' thoughts. Had the chances from the first half still playing on his mind. Or can he banish those demons? Of course he can. What a clean strike from the fella. He is inevitable. And just like that, the floodgates have opened. Let's team four and really taking control of the game now as Team Perez pushed for a winner. It's all us, baby. The greatest comeback the Aviva's ever seen. I'm on the bench now, but our boy Stewie boy has just bagged an absolute screamer. Of sorts. I'm with the trophy. Nine minutes left, I'm gonna get my hands on it. I won't touch it yet, it's bad luck. Hey, fancy another one? Oh, is he taking it to Oh, good finish. Do you want another one? Yeah. You're joking. Not another one? Great goal. And there it is, full time. The comeback's been completed, as has the greatest day of my life. 14 8, Team Fall, and it's a cricket score, but we're not asked. My man, here he is. <laughs> I couldn't write a better script than what happened at the Aviva Stadium today and here's the moment me and my brother get to embrace on the field, on the turf after both playing absolute blinders what a feeling yes, there you go good half time team so <laughs> well there, well played thank you guys Bye, man. what a feeling Oh, yeah, he's given an absolute on blast at half time. Well done. Unbelievable the back, son. Unbelievable.
GK, GK. Do you know what's mad? I like he actually was fuming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was actually living with us. It's nice to win it, innit? Camera about that header. Fucking Michael Ballack on it. It was fucking. You know, we won that one nil down, by the way. Yeah. You know, there's a few nerves. There's a lot of nerves jangling. I love it. Unreal. Yes, man. Thoughts, brother? Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm cooked. But yeah, brilliant. As if this whole experience wasn't incredible enough, they offered me the opportunity to interview Diego Forlan and Robert Perez post-match. It was unbelievable, I felt like I was floating on cloud nine. I said, what do you want me to ask him? He said, you've got free reign, Joey, ask him whatever you want. I, I actually blacked out, I can't remember what I asked him, to be honest. To this day, you have to pinch me to make me actually believe that this happened. Robert Perez and Diego Forlan laughing at my jokes, I cannot believe it. What an incredible experience, one that I will certainly never forget. Unbelievable. Gary never once said unbelievable. Was this unbelievable? Yeah. <laughs> no, swear all you want, but this is the best day of That game was hard. Five minutes in, I thought, oh, I've, you know. Mate, it was, as, I mean, the first the scores, like the cricket score, but it was actually more competitive than you think. And there was actually little spells where there was some like good passages of play, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's come away with a hat trick ball, man. Get on that. <laughs> you know, he played he played uh, in the back, then went midfield. No, playing the right, then midfield, then a little bit at front, scored a goal, I think. I mean, this was already the greatest day of my life. I scored a hat trick at the Aviva, but to win man of the match would just be the icing on top of the cherry on top of the cake. Stu, you deserve it. GK! Man of the match. GK! Man of the match. Huh? You're the MVP. What the hell? 
That is an absolute disgrace and a farce, Diego. You will be hearing from my lawyers. Jokes aside, I am absolutely made up for the boy. In fairness, he did cover about 200 kilometers tracking my runners. The fella deserves it. One, two, three, one more. <laughs> We're with Man of the Match for Team 4 winning Team Stravolver. Speed! Speed! What have you got to say? I feel like, uh, I mean, you could... Yeah, you score an hat-trick and you don't get Man of the Match, I don't know what's going on there, but... And in the blink of an eye, just like that, the game and the experience is almost over, but not before we go to a boozer. Yeah. Uh, come to a boozer after the game. What's happened? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you He's what's happened. <laughs> We've won the final. What's more important, this or oh, oh, unbelievable? Best moment of my life. Best moment of my life. Let's go to Team Four Land. Let's go to Team Four Land. <laughs> team Four Land, just winners. With the duster settles, and what do you think? I'm absolutely exhausted, but yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, I'm struggling to keep my eyes off. I mean, I've not played that sort of football for a long while. 11 side, I haven't played it for ages. First 10, first 10 minutes is a shock, isn't it? Shock to the system. Because everyone's like bang up for it. Yeah. Um, you know, running behind, you think, bloody hell. Yeah. yeah I was, as we said before, I was playing right wing, she was playing right back. Um, a lot of times, he's your man, Stu. <laughs> he's, your, he's having a double up. You know, so he'd, he'd, he'd track back. He won't track yeah. the other so He tra tries. He's <laughs> tries. Um, don't need to that's, not cheat. The, that's not what I'm in Get the team in for. Pocket. No structure really, but I said, I'll go right mid if you want, I'll go right wing. And he went, really? You need to run? Uh, cheeky. Camera, yeah. yeah, I've got that on camera, so you'll see. Clip that up there. Um, but yeah, we, we had a good game between us, didn't we? Oh yeah, a ph phenomenal game. Man of match. Just got to go. Hat trick. Your boy over here got a hat trick, you probably heard about it on the social. He's got the ball in his bag. Got the match ball in the bag, he's got full customs. All right. Hey, right. It's phenomenal. It's quite a crazy game, really, and I feel like we need to dissect the game when we get, when yeah. we get the footage. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I think we do that. That's a second, a second video. The second 90 minutes. You know, I just like to look at the highlights, really. But he'll go in depth. He'll see my flaws. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to getting the footage back. I cannot I'm wait. Looking forward to seeing the header. Yeah. He's got a header. I'm five foot six. Drogba header. Drogba. But yeah, uh, absolutely shattered now, but what a phenomenal experience. Do you not think so? Yeah, no. Um, I'd love to do it all again, but I need to, need to rest. Yeah. Uh, definitely do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, need to rest, actually. You imagine that you got ice back. <laughs> no, you're alright, actually. No, I'm I am shattered. knackered, and uh, no. unfortunately, I've not I've had no sleep. Oh, I thought you were going to say, unfortunately, I've had no sleep all night. Yeah, no. no. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, all the best, brother. Night. <laughs>